What's up guys, it's Joseph here. We got another recap of our boycott takeover. This one is from March 8th. In classic form, we were hustling to get things ready for the day. Oftentimes we decide what method we want to brew on day of. So we'll have several coffees that we get from Ravenous and we'll decide where to put them. Usually the two of us do a bit of a coin toss to decide who brews what, but mostly I will dial in our espresso offering for the day while Dante will focus on manual bar. We have these cool sheets that we print that has the coffee info on it, kind of based on what ravenous coffee that we are serving. So really helpful for people, especially who are new. We'll both handwrite our notes for the day so that when we get really busy, we can know what parameters to brew with since we're sharing in this dialing process. So if I dial in a coffee, and Dante takes the order, he will know how to prepare it if I'm not available to brew it in that moment. All right, so today we're mixing up. Last week we had the honey process. This week we have this natural guji. It's so delicious on espresso. We're using it for the one and one. So we're gonna bring this espresso and then for the other filter element we're using the V60 switch. It's gonna be tasty. We're using this Columbia today as well. It's the last of it. And we're gonna be putting it on AeroPress. Okay, so what time is it right now, Dante? We don't even know what time it is. We don't even know what time it is. It's not time. I'm 36. We're, we're still hustling. We don't have things dialed in. And we just had five people try to tug on the door. Maybe we should open earlier. Mm-mm, no, no more. Maybe one day. All right, we'll have everything out in by like 8.30. I'll come in and make it. Don't expect it. We'll make it. <laughs> <laughs> it's not gonna happen. It's always so funny how many people tug on the door while we're getting ready. Some of them come back, but most just keep walking. We can't afford to lose any spare time during our setup process. So as you're gonna see in a minute, usually our brew times are crazy long and we formulated our water to behave this way kind of on purpose it helps us achieve high tds and extraction yield values and the cup is typically immediately drinkable because it's lost so much heat through the brewing process again with the long brew times time goes by so fast during our 60 to 45 minute setup so we try to take a minute after we're done to take a sigh of relief knowing that everything is dialed in and that we're ready for the day. Dante, did you try the guji? What's it taste like? It just tastes like tropical punch. How is he? Fruit by the what are we dialing in now? Oh. We got ten minutes. We got ten minutes. Okay, we got five minutes. Well. Cheers to that.
Dante has been busting out his hand grinder despite us having four other electric grinders there. typically try and offer all of our coffees on bar as flash brew as well since most of our regulars really like coffee served this way. Dante is the wizard for making flash brews and his recipes are always wild. For this pop up we serve a ton of flash brews since it was so warm and sunny outside. Oh. Please do. Inception. We're also doing free cuppings throughout the day. Basically when someone comes in, especially those who are checking us out for the first time, we'll teach them how to taste coffee and compare processing methods, regions, and roast development. We've switched to offering ravenous coffee on espresso in addition to manual bar, but only as an espresso shot by itself and not for milk beverages. Typically people order in the form of a one-in-one, -one, and this is our way of serving you the same coffee but two ways. Some of the offerings taste crazy different on each method. I had to get proof of Dante eating. Ready. We're notorious for going the whole day without eating anything, so I've been trying to get better at packing some snacks for us. Today was a PB&J classic. It's really important for us to keep food in our stomach since we're tasting so much coffee throughout the day and it is incredibly easy to get the shakes, even when you do eat a lot. We hope you enjoy these sort of vlogs. I really enjoy splicing the day together and giving you a taste of what it's like from the other side of the bar. Please give this video a like if you enjoyed it, subscribe if you haven't already, and please check us out on Patreon. We really appreciate all of your support. Until next time.